That forgotten cotton mill village in Pritchard is now being resurrected as a community for homeless veterans. But apparently, somebody ignored its new status. Fox 10 News' Ashlyn Mitchell now here in studio with us. And Ashlyn, just a day after the groundbreaking ceremony, somebody dumped illegally stuff on the property, right? Yeah, that's right, Byron. And unfortunately, Cotton Mill Village has bore the brunt of illegal dumping for years. Those in charge of the new housing development say they've spent time and money clearing the entire area only to have people trash it. I think people have always found this place to be a dark, dismal, uh, abandoned, forgotten place. Rodney Clements is changing the narrative of Cotton Mill Village in Pritchard, a neighborhood that sat empty for years. This past weekend, a historic groundbreaking was held at the village, marking the start of building a community for veterans experiencing homelessness. 57 buildings sit on the 22-acre property, many of the dwellings set to be renovated. In fact, the first home is already finished. That first house is going to be a true testament of what this potential community can have to offer. Just one day after the groundbreaking celebration, someone illegally dumped trash on the outskirts of the village near the old EA Palmer Elementary School. It's, it's time to stop. It's time to take pride in what the rest of the world forgot. John Thomas, a pastor at Solomon's Temple Ministries, is equally as disheartened. His church recently purchased the old elementary school. The title of our project is Project Restoration. We want to take something that was thrown away, given away, forgotten about, and build it back into something. The long-range vision is to make this a school, an entire school. And we have an old cafeteria over here, and what we want to do with that, we want to make a cafeteria. And the dream and the vision is to be able to feed people. Come by, have a cup of coffee, some grits and a biscuit in the morning. Both Thomas and Clements are committed to redeeming the ghost town. Mr. Clements here, he's got the veterans thing coming, and we can work together. You know, because he gets this finished, we get this finished. We got two going from both ends, meet in the middle. They're urging folks to stop hindering these projects that are bringing good to the community. If we have to hammer with one hand and defend with the other, we're going to take care of this property. We're going to get it back to where it needs to go. In the meantime, as equipment moves in, Clement says they're tightening security at the village. Alabama Power, shout out to them, uh, started installing some cameras some time ago. And those cameras, we, we want to pursue the access of those cameras so we can make sure we can visually see it and then start providing security to these areas. Another level to protect this area was us to actually block the roads off. And that was uh, a grant uh, of access that city council actually gave to us uh, to ensure that the roads were blocked off properly. And so you'll see that in the near future too. Now Thomas tells me he made a report to Pritchard Police on the illegal dumping, but the trash and debris remains in that area. Live in studio, Ashley Mitchell, Fox 10 News.